Hello there, my name is Jao Patel. I'm the editor of AlevelPolitics.com. Today I'm going to talk about why most students are getting it wrong when it comes to politics revision. Now we've got seven more weeks left to the exam. I'm speaking on the night of Tuesday the 4th of April. So we've got seven weeks left until the first exam begins. I got an email from a student uh, a few hours back telling me that uh, they're taking notes from the textbook and they haven't got enough knowledge so they can't get down to writing essays. And so they're going to spend the next few weeks taking notes from the textbook and then revision leave will begin and uh, then I suppose they will start what they call revision. I said to them, look, I think you're doing it wrong. And after convincing them that what they're doing is probably not the best way to use their time, uh, the student was convinced and she said, all right, she's going to work according to my proposals. So I thought I'll put this quick video together. I'm not going to spend too long on this video. I've got a lengthy video that you can have a look at, which looks at revision in some more depth. You can find it on my website, alevelpolitics.com. But what I'm going to do is just talk about what it means to do politics revision and why most students get it wrong when it comes to revision. So first, let's start with what the problem is and what this student was doing wrong. So the student said to me, I'm taking notes from the textbook or I'm making and I'm making flashcards based on those notes. I'm condensing those notes and putting flashcards together. Now, in my lengthy video, I talk about why that's a problem. You don't need to take notes from a textbook. You know, when you take notes from a textbook, you're probably not going to relook at those notes uh, when it comes to the last week before your exam. Um, I'm not saying it's meaningless, uh, it may help you, but I think it's, it's a marginal help. Putting flashcards together at this stage is probably not the best use of your time. Students like to do things like this because they think it's, it's, it's easy, it's reassuring. When you have flashcards, you've got these little cards that you can take out of your pocket and look at uh, at all times. Uh, that seems like a really good thing to do. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing to do. Of course, you may get some value out of it, but I believe fully you're not going to really get the maximum value out of it just don't do that don't take condensed notes don't put notes together don't try at this stage i don't know to to learn lots and lots of content because you believe you don't have enough content even if you think you haven't studied politics properly maybe your teacher left halfway through the year maybe what happened was um, you didn't pay attention to your politics lessons it doesn't matter what I'm about to say next is going to help all of you to make sure your revision is the best revision so far. And at the end of today's session, I'm just going to give you a few examples of students who wrote to me after last year's exam, the 2022 exam, and they told me what I had proposed in terms of revision was the best way to revise, right? So please stick to the very end because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And it's easy. What I'm going to propose is not a difficult thing to do as long as you get a routine together. So today is Tuesday the 4th of April. As I said, you've got seven weeks left until your exam. So what are you going to do over these seven weeks? My proposal is the following. The only thing you should be doing, the only thing you should be doing is in these next seven weeks when it comes to component one, two and three is planning in detail essays and writing essays in full. You've got to do both. You've got to plan essays and you've got to write essays in full. That's the only thing you should be doing for revision. In fact, if you're not planning detailed essays, if you're not writing essays out in full, I'm afraid you're just not revising. Uh, I hate to say this, I hate to put it in that way, but revision is all about writing essays. It's all about planning essays. If by the time your exam comes along, you haven't got a folder full of detailed plans and essays that you've written between now and your final exam, you haven't revised properly. So I'm afraid probably only 40% of students uh, take seriously my advice. I tell students this every year. I've been teaching politics for 15 years. And I know that even my own students, I tell them every day, this is what you've got to do. You've got to plan essays and you've got to write essays. And you've got to swap essays with one another and you've got to get into groups. And each one of you uh, writes an essay and then you, you help each other in, in developing those essays and fixing those essays. If your central activity of politics revision is not essay writing and it's not centered around essays, then you have a problem. 
uh, you are not going to be revising effectively. Now, in order to help you, what I've been, what I've done for the last eight weeks, uh, nine, ten weeks, in fact, I've been working with students since January on essay writing. So we've been planning a great number of essays. In fact, we've planned all of these essays that you see coming up, streaming in front of you. We planned essays on electoral systems. We planned essays on political parties. We planned essays on voting behavior. We've looked at representative and direct democracy. We've looked at pressure groups. We've looked at how democracy functions and whether it functions correctly. We've looked at whether age or social demographics help when it comes to voting behavior. We've looked at component two constitutions. We've looked at constitutional reforms. We've started just now and we've started parliament. We've worked on 43 essays and we haven't quite finished. So I've got another six sessions left. So by the end of it, I propose, I think we're going to probably cover around 60 essays. There are 60 essays of um, uh, really detailed essay plans that we have worked for. When I say detailed essay plans for each session, I just take an essay and I work through that essay in great detail. I talk about what the paragraphs are going to be on, what analysis you should put into your paragraphs. We talk about contemporary examples. At the moment, we have 21 hours of essays uh, that you can look at and they're all available on my website. So my advice to you is to access that resource. Those students last year who did access all of those resources uh, and they worked through each and every single one of those essays, they wrote them out in their own time. They planned those essays, those 43 essays so far. Those students found that by the end of it, they were getting the best marks for their final exams. And I mean this, I had students last year who were getting D grades in their mock exams. And when they went through my webinars, uh, by the end of it, they were getting A grades, A star grades in their exams. So my advice to you is that work through that really good resource. It's all available on my website. Okay, so you have to plan and you have to write these essays. Don't just listen passively to those webinars. There's 21 hours of footage there. Don't just passively look at it. What I said to this student uh, who contacted me a few hours ago is she had already bought the courses yet she wasn't working through the courses, right? She decided that she's going to first take notes and then work through the courses. I said, don't do that. Look at webinar number one, work through it. It's going to take you an hour and a half to work through it. Take notes from that and then transfer those notes into practical essays and plans and keep on doing that. Believe me when I say, if you write those 43 plus 60 essays by the end of it. If you write all of those essays or at least plan half of them and write the other half, you are going to be prepared for your exam. I can guarantee you that 80% of your exam is covered already by those essays I've already worked on. And the remaining 20% would just be a rewording of any one of those questions. And so what you've got to do is you've got to think about how to apply that knowledge into that 20% of essays. Last year when I uh, did this, a student contacted me after component two and said it's the first exam I've ever sat through where every question I had already worked on and so I didn't need to think about it. I just wrote those essays out in full and it worked for me. Okay, so my advice to you is that please do plan and do write these essays out in full. Here are some um, reviews that I got last year. These are all on TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor? These are all on Trustpilot. <laughs> they speak for themselves. Uh, here's one from Joe. The best resource helped me get an A star. Mr. Patel's online webinars and all free politics papers were an invaluable help to me during my revision. They were thorough, informative, and gave me all the information I needed. The revision techniques you recommended were incredibly effective, what I said to you today. And ultimately, you were the main reason why I got an A star in the summer 22 politics exam. And Grace says something really similar. I've just done my A levels achieving an A-star and I'm due to go to Cambridge to study HSPS uh, in October. I attended Mr. Patel's in-person politics revision session, so that's coming up this Saturday for those of you who catch this in time. Uh, and I'm going to have a few of these uh, seminars that be, will be held at King's College. All the links are in the show notes. And I use the online sessions in the run-up to the A-level exams. 
I found them incredibly useful and believe they have helped me elevate my essay plans and essays in the exams themselves. Themselves. I'd like to thank Mr. Patel and blah, 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 as we know. Right. Um, uh, here's Jimmy. I used your website religiously in preparation for the 2022 A-level politics exam. I achieved an A-star and genuinely attributed it solely to you. Great. Tom Groves, signing up to Jal's webinars was one of the best decisions I made for my A-levels. The essay plans he went through were detailed and high quality, and Jal was very helpful in predicting the questions uh, that would come up and what essays we needed to learn. Jal also is very diligent in replying to emails and providing any additional resources. Without this website, Jal's teaching, I don't think I would have achieved an A-star in politics. He got an A-star, and I think he went on to a good university. I can't remember where. Chloe, amazing, really supported my revision by structuring my knowledge around critical essays. This also helped make my A-levels feel less overwhelming and more manageable as every week I completed the essays. We planned as a group and I never felt left behind or overstressed. Um, not only did I get an A-start, but an extremely high one and now we'll be reading law at LSE. Thank you, Jal. I have no hesitation to recommend his services. Right. And it's plenty more of these sorts of reviews on, um, not Trustpilot, on whatever it was. My advice to you is work through those webinars. They're all recorded. They're all on my website. If you join now, you'll be able to catch half of the third series and the fourth series. So we're just finishing off component two. And every week we're going through two, three, four essays. Uh, so I would highly advise you to go through that. Uh, you can access those webinars through my website. Just click on courses. Uh, in the top bar and then click on the category UK planning webinars or you can type this URL. It's all available in the show notes. And for those of you who want to buy all three of my uh, webinars, they're £25 each. All 12 weeks of webinars uh, will cost you £60. I think that's real worth it uh, to get a good grade in your politics A-levels, right? Here's the code. Use webinars with a dollar sign at the end. And then you'd have automatic access to webinars to series one, to series two, and half of series three. And of course, we're going to complete series three. That they happen every Monday at eight o'clock. Uh, I hope to see you guys uh, on live, but I also wish you all the best. After 15 years, I know what it means to revise for the politics exam. And I really want all of you to do well. So I hope you do avail yourselves of this uh, opportunity. And um, if you've got any questions, please uh, send me a comment using the comment section at the bottom of this YouTube video. Oh, and thank you very much for the 500 subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. I'm really appreciative of, of that. And I hope you always subscribe in the lead up to the exams.